So welcome back. So before we start building the many-to-many -many relation, let's start out by just making um, the wishes controller and making the wish work. So we need a wish manager, we need a wish controller, we need the context setup. I think you guys should do that on your own. So try to get that done. I will. Um, you can stop the video now and then try and do it yourself. I will show you now step by step what I actually did to get that up and running. And I just want to run over it real quickly because you guys know how to do that now. And if you don't, go back and see how we did the person because it's exactly the same steps we're doing. Um, so I end up with something looking like this, a, a very basic uh, wish page where I can create new wishes, edit wishes, see details and delete wishes, very simple stuff. And it's under the wishes controller, I can see that up here. Um, so let's have a look at what we actually needed to add to do this. So step one was inside the, let's just start from the top. So inside the wish file, I actually went in and added this line right here because I didn't have a, a bi-directional connection between the wish and the person. I just wanted it in, in there because I found a few flukes here and there where it didn't work properly. So I added this. So in the future, we can actually, when we have a wish, we can go in and pull out all the persons that are required. What else do we do? Well, I added a new manager, the wish manager, which extends the abstract manager. And then I added these different ways to handle wishes, right? Exactly the same we, we did with persons. So nothing changed there. Um, it's just with the wishes now, instead of the uh, instead of the person, right? And just to let just to let you know, we're going to make a more generic guy later when we get to the web API. Mm, spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! So what else did we do? Well, I went into the DLL facade, of course, and I added a way to get the wish managers. So we can use them later. Easy peasy, nothing there. Again, you can look at all of that in the previous tutorials. Let's scroll down further. What else did I do? Well, I auto scaffolded a wishes controller, right? With the views, I didn't do anything. I just said auto scaffolded. And then when it did that, it of course added, you remember it, it adds all the context in here. So I changed that into being, um, actually I haven't even changed that, what the? Okay, so you guys can go and change that now. <laughs> I'll change it when I push the code, but right, I want to change it so we start using the wishing controller and we use the wish manager like I did here inside the person's controller, right? So I also made a video about that. So you can go and change the wishes now if you want to try it out yourself. I will of course change it and make it work like we did in the person's controller. Okay, I don't want to spend more time there right now. The last thing I did was of course it created all the wishes views here. Automatically again, I didn't do anything. So now the entire wish controller is up and running and we are actually ready to start using these wishes. Um, these box will go, uh, these errors will go away in a second. It's just rebuild. Um, so that's all I had to do. Now the wishes are up and running and you can see wishes running right here with the four wishes I already implemented for you inside the code. And how did I do that? Well, that's of course seeding inside the context. Again, something you guys already did. So it's not, no, it's nothing new there either. The last thing I did when I seeded things was actually also add some wishes directly to our persons into the list, right? So now you also have some list some wishes added to the person inside the seeding of our context. That's all I did for setting up the wishes. So now we already have a many-to-many -many relationship I'm running. And by adding things, your code should actually work right out of the box when we have a many-to-many. -many. It shouldn't be a problem. So even without the Fluent API, without anything, it should just work adding wishes directly into um, the database doing it this way. So your seeding should make everything run. It's the editor that will give us a headache. We'll get back to that later. Okay, so that's how we set up the wishes. And now we are ready to try and move forward to actually creating the many-to-many -many relation inside. Let's start out with the index view and see how I did, how I pulled out the information again. See you in the next lessons.